A cyber attack on Madison City Communications brings in federal investigators. And if you're missing a bike, UW police may have found it. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. The body of Tony Robinson, the young man shot and killed by a Madison police officer, is now in the hands of his family tonight. The Dane County Medical Examiner released the boy to a local funeral home. No other details will be released by the medical examiner on the 19-year-old's death. The shooting death of Robinson renews the debate over police body cameras. Well, the city is set to study that issue, but some say Madison should pursue getting those cameras sooner. And News 3's Jessica Arp has more on what city officials are saying tonight, Jess. Well, there's been a back and forth for the last number of months on this issue of whether agencies in Dane County should wear body cameras. The shooting on Willie Street is just the latest incident to spark debate on whether they could help or hurt our community. As those in the city look for answers as to what transpired before Officer Matt Kenny shot and killed 19-year-old Tony Robinson on Williamson Street Friday night, some say having a camera on the case might have helped. Now, this will not change the facts of what occurred on last Friday night, but I do think that it's a step forward in the side of transparency. City Alder and candidate for mayor Scott Resnick wants to fast forward a plan he offered last year for a body camera pilot project, bringing the cameras as are used in other communities like Janesville and McFarland to one city of Madison precinct. That plan was delayed by the city council until 2016 with an extensive study of the use of cameras planned this summer. Our studies are going to simply look at regurgitating the same information that we already know. So let's make a decision now. Let's have a community conversation and move forward with body cameras. We've got a timetable that the council adopted. And if we're going to do it right, uh, I think there's agreement that we we, we can't be sloppy and rush this. Mayor Paul Soglin says he still has concerns about victim privacy. I've been cautious about them. And there's we have to understand there are significant uh, numbers of people in, in Madison and elsewhere around the country who've got reservations about body cameras. Dane County Sheriff Dave Mahoney is working on his own study and is part of a White House task force looking at body cameras. It is going to be a huge conversation piece for this community to talk about how we are going to implement if we do implement. Police Chief Mike Koval tells News 3 he'd follow the city council's lead. Well, ultimately, a body-worn camera may be very material to this department in the year ahead. You know, we're studying that uh, locally, the common council is, and, and we'll defer to those findings. In both the city and the county community input meetings are expected on this issue over the next couple of months, and these studies would be done in time for the drafting of both the city and the county 2016 budget. Something a lot of people keeping an eye on this discussion right, right. there. Jess, thanks.